With housing costs high and work from home still a thing, many Canadians are looking for an alternative to life in the big city. So we've sent our producer, Tyler McFadden, in search of the great places to call home. And our next stop in the Move Here series is Bracebridge, Ontario. Have you ever been up at the cottage and thought to yourself, oh, I wish I could just live here? Well, you can. It's legal. In fact, more than 17,000 people call Bracebridge, Ontario their permanent home. And like a lot of Ontario's beautiful little towns, it's growing. Yeah, I think the, the two areas we notice is small families or young families that are moving out of the city looking for that better quality school, better quality life for their kids. And then the second demographic being retirees who are coming and testing it. Some of them are testing by selling their house and buying up here, and others are testing by just living at their cottage through the winter and trying it, seeing if they've got the social connections they want and the hobbies that can, can thrive. People are looking for houses in a different way. They're looking for home offices and home gyms. The housing market's changed since COVID. To give you a sense of what the housing market in Bracebridge is like, we're going to show you four homes here, all currently for sale, all of which can be had for less than $700,000. Our first home is a three-bedroom, two-bathroom with a listing price of just $695,000. The big wraparound porch will catch your eye from the curb, and through the front door you'll find a deceptively large main floor that just keeps going. A front-facing living room connects to a large dining room, which leads right into a bright and modern kitchen with ample counter space and an island. And from there, another larger living room can be found in the back of the house. Upstairs, you'll find three bedrooms, all a good size and a three-piece bathroom. The backyard is huge, as is the raised deck that looks over it. And location-wise, you may not be able to tell from its suburban charm, but this is right off the downtown strip. You can walk there in less than 10 minutes. The second home is another three-bedroom, two-bathroom with a listing price of $625,000. It may look a little more cottage-like from the outside with the abundance of greenery and charming wooden porch, but inside you'll find sleek, modern touches. Upon entrance, you can go left or right, both lead into living spaces. An attached kitchen and dining space look out over the backyard. The large master bedroom comes with vaulted ceilings and a pair of his and her walk-in closets and another couple bedrooms and a four-piece bathroom complete the top floor. As for the backyard, it's a great size. The raised deck is perfect for grilling, and there's even a little semi-enclosed shelter for a hot tub if that's your thing. And it's in town too, about a 15-minute walk from the downtown strip. Staying in town, our third home is an immaculate three-bedroom, one-bathroom with a listing price of 685000 you don't even have to go through the front door to experience its charm. A beautiful little sunroom looks out into the front garden. Once you do walk in, you'll find yourself in the open concept kitchen and dining area with a beautiful front-facing living room to your right. Also on the main floor, you'll find the large three-piece bathroom and a charming master bedroom, cat not included, he loved us by the way. And upstairs, you'll find two equally charming secondary bedrooms. But the real gem of this property is the backyard, which you'll find through this cozy sunroom. I mean, look at this place, it's a paradise. You've got your deck, your beautiful gardens, your winding pathways, your hidden gazebo. Oh, and it's literally right off the downtown strip. You can walk there in three minutes. For our final home, we're going to head out into the country. After all, this is Muskoka. Here, you'll find a stunning three-bedroom, one-bathroom, updated A-frame home on a massive property with a listing price of just 635000 The huge property is nice and private, surrounded by a wall of trees. The main part feels like a cottage. Right off the kitchen is a huge sitting room that features a vaulted ceiling and fireplace, and a staircase leading up to a loft-style bedroom. But the addition to the home blends the rustic with the modern. It boasts a large living-slash-dining space with wall-to-wall -wall windows, just stunning and that gives way to two large bedrooms in the back. But this home is really for those who love the outdoors. I mean, just look at this. Yes, you spotted correctly, that is a golf course literally next door. So if you feel like getting frustrated in a beautiful green space, you can just pop over with your clubs. And even though it's out in a rural setting, everything is close in Bracebridge. Hop on Highway 11 and you're downtown in 10 minutes. Downtown Bracebridge is mainly centered around Manitoba Street. Whatever you need, there's a good chance you can find it somewhere along Manitoba. On either side of the street and on the side streets that branch off it, you'll find shops, restaurants, a few pubs, all run by the folks living here. We are grocery and 
vitamins and supplements, and a vegetarian vegan deli. And we also have the Griffin Gastropub, um, also downtown, kind of off the beaten path, and it's a little tiny 28-seat pub, live music, craft beer, and home-cooked food. Having kids, having a partner, having friends in the area, and marrying that with your business, it's this pride of showing your space off, pulling people into it, pulling your community into it, making it a place for meeting. Um, there's so much opportunity in a small town because you're so connected. I moved here 14 years ago. I love the seasons here. Uh, all of them are so intense. In the winter, the snow is so white. When I go back to the city, when we go to shopping and everything, it's great. So I don't like that. <laughs> so here's always so white. You see the deer jumping or you see the raccoon or and it's so clean. I'm from Hamilton originally, I lived out west quite a bit, and uh, I'm done with the big city, moving up here, we fish on the weekends, ice fish, that's what I really moved up here for. I couldn't do the big city anymore, I really like the, the balance of being able to talk to a lot of people at work, and yet we have a good property that I don't really see anyone, no neighbors, and that's how I want to live my life. It's just easy, it's that cheers feeling, it's that walking into your coffee shop and they know you're ordering your name before you get to the front. And I've said, you find it in the cities, but you, you have to work harder at it. And here, it's, it's great. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.